Hello, my name is Blair Montgomery, and I'm a candidate for re-election to the Marion County Board of Education. I wanted to share with you some of my qualifications and some of my achievements and why I'm running for the Board of Education. Uh, right now, I am retired from education. I have 41 years of experience in both public and higher education. I uh, have an ABD in Educational Administration from West Virginia University, and I'm a graduate of Harvard University's MLE Institute. Some achievements that I've had while I've been on the board is I have actively questioned the spending regarding uh, any BOE expenditure to be sure that it's going to meet the needs as stated by the board or by the board staff. I've been an active uh, endorser of moving the students from Meadowdale to Eastdale so that we can get one of the worst facilities in the county off of our records and get the students and faculty into a new and modern facility. I've been an advocate for listening to the local school improvement councils and making sure that we are meeting their needs as stipulated by them in their reports to us yearly. I've walked on the picket lines with Marion County Schools during the recent strike and strongly believe in making sure that we give our faculty as much support as we possibly can. I am a persistent uh, requester for the school aid formula to be changed because I believe this is something that can only happen if the Board of Education actively participates in this statewide. The school board authority funding formula, not the school building authority, excuse me, the, the uh, state formula for funding education has not been touched for 20 years. It needs to be brought up to date and be more uh, responsive to the needs of the counties in West Virginia. Um, I am also a strong advocate for increased vocational education for children in the seventh and eighth grades. Why I'm running for, for re-election, the state school funding formula needs to be brought up to date and the state needs to be prepared to adequately fund public education as stated in the Constitution of the State of West Virginia. We need to pass a modern bond, uh, a bond modernizing and, and or replacing the elementary schools if we are to attract younger couples into Marion County with young children increasing the tax base and allowing us to make further improvements in the system. We're fortunate in Marion County in that we have a very strong educational system. Our faculty are among the best in the state and some are in the best in the country. People don't know about this. They need to be more aware of the quality of education in this county. Once they understand that, once newcomers understand it, they would be uh, uh, likely to move into the area and help support additional improvements in the educational system. We need a, one of the local needs that we have is that we need to have a countywide policy determining whether students should be allowed to have phones in the classroom. Unless they're needed for educational opportunities, students should not have phones available to them during the class period. They should be kept in a secure place, either with the teacher or in their lockers, so that education can begin and be done in a fair and open way. We also need to consider the possibility of you know, looking at the starting and stopping times of the school day. Evidence shows we are starting way too early, especially for students in high school, and we need to look and explore this as a possibility. I hope this gives you a better idea of what I'm trying to accomplish as a member of the Marion County Board of Education. I would appreciate your support in June and hope that uh, we can have a very positive school year, even this time of uh, extreme stress and effort. 
Thank you so much. Goodbye.